Hey guys, thanks for joining me online. I'm Kevin Hurd with KevinTalksTech.com today here for another Unwrapping the Cable segment. You know, you look into your junk box of cables and you see cables of all kinds connecting DVD players, TVs, VCRs, stereos, computers. Everything is all in there, but the big question on your mind is where does it all go? And today we're going to help you unwrap the mystery. We're going to start by talking about basic video and audio cables. We'll start off with one of the most basic cables that you'll find out there. It's called a composite cable, but also more commonly known as the RCA cable. And this cable has three different connections to it. We'll break it all down here for you. You'll notice there's a yellow connection, a white connection, as well as a red connection. Here's where they all go. The yellow connection is for your video. The white connection is for the left speaker audio. And the red connection is for your right speaker audio. When you have the yellow cable plugged in, that's going to give you your video. If you have the white cable plugged in, that's going to give you the left speaker audio, and the red cable is going to give you that right speaker audio. If you don't have one of those three plugged in, you're going to be missing that portion of the cable. This again was one of the most basic cables. You used to see it a lot more back in the days of the VCR and those early DVD players, and now a lot more of those Blu-ray players out there and more advanced DVD players use different types of cables. But still, a good cable to know. It'll give you a decent connection, uh, but we have graduated and moved on to some more high-end cables that are out there. This one might be a little bit confusing by the colors, but uh, this is a video cable right here. This is a component cable. And you'll notice this on a lot more DVD players that are out there today. It'll give you a much high quality picture. While it might look like it does the same function as the composite cable, this is actually just an all video cable right here. It's got a green, blue, and red connection on it. You know, you'll use this to supply the video connection on like a DVD player or even maybe like a high-end VCR. So a component cable is simply a video cable you are going to need the, uh, the white and red connection, the two left and right speakers from the composite cable to still get audio from a DVD player or whatever device you're hooking this into. So simply put again, this green, blue, and red cable right here is called a component cable. This gives you the video from like a DVD player to a television set or a high-end VCR perhaps. And again, this is called the composite cable. The red and white connection here are your two audio pieces. So that's that cable. We're now going to move into a higher end cable. This one is becoming a lot more popular these days and will give you a very high quality connection. This is what we call an HDMI cable. This will run from Blu-ray players that you see out there today. Uh, some higher end DVD players will also have this connection. And a lot of times if you have a DVR set-top box, the cable company will connect that DVR set-top box to your TV using an HDMI cable. This is what really gives you that crisp, clear, high definition picture. The nice thing about this cable is it does do both video and audio together so you don't have to mess with understanding what the color coded system means. So again, an HDMI cable is what this one is called. And then I'll introduce you to this cable right here too. This is actually just a pure audio cable right here. You're probably real familiar with what this type of connection looks like. So this is this is what we call a eighth inch connection. You probably know this more commonly as a headphone jack connection. This plugs into iPods. This might plug into your phone. A lot more phones have this headphone type of connection. And then on the other end of the cord, you'll see two RCA connections over here. And what this is does is it plugs into a TV, might plug into a stereo receiver. And this is the cord that you use to plug uh, your iPod, plug in your Android phone, whatever kind of device into a stereo receiver or plug into your television. So if you plug that eighth inch connection, again that's that headphone looking side into say an iPod and you plug the RCA connection into your television set, into the RCA input, then you'll be able to listen to your iPod sound, your Android sound, your MP3 player sound through your television set. You can also plug it into a stereo connection, like I said, so that way you can get a more full, robust sound uh, through your speaker set. Again, that's called an eighth inch cable to an RCA cable. And then, of course, this is a little bit tougher to see. You'll probably know this cable inside and out. A lot of people refer this, to this as just your basic cable connection that goes into your wall. 
This cable is called a coax cable or coaxial cable. This is what brings the cable in from your wall mount into your television set. And more typically these days, these are running into your DVR boxes. A lot of times these used to run directly into your TVs. But more often than not, when they hook up your cable now, they'll run this cable into your DVR set. And then from your DVR set, they'll use that HDMI cable. So that way, again, you can really, really enjoy that high definition programming. Now, if you have any questions from what you saw in here today, something maybe went by too fast, we've put a step-by-step -step guide on what all these cables do, what they look like up on our website. You can find those at kevintalkstech.com. I'm Kevin Hurd. Again, that's another se segment for you, unwrapping the mystery of all these cables. We'll have much more coming up for you again later on. And again, all of these are available at kevintalkstech.com.